All right, so we're going to look at how to take a digital or how to check for a digital pulse. On a healthy horse, the digital artery, which runs into the hoof and up the back of the front legs, right at the base of the fetlock. If you feel around, I use my index finger on the inside and my thumb on the outside. And if you feel around gently on the fetlock, you'll feel kind of some squishy, yeah, some little squishy round veins. So once I find the squishy veins, they kind of run on the outside of the fetlock here and here. And different people do this different ways. I like to put my thumb and my index finger on either side and find the softest, squishiest area. Then I'm gonna rest my fingers there and see if I can feel a pulse. Some people will feel the back of the pastern here because it does run down a little bit either side here. So you could put your fingers down here or I always check, this is where I find the, the digital pulse the easiest. If your horse's hoof is absolutely healthy, you will barely, if you can, feel the pulse here. This is not a place to check the pulse. That's up on the, under the jawbone to check the facial artery. You should always feel a pulse up there. But the only time that you'll feel a pulse here is if they have inflammation in the hoof. So if I put my fingers down here and I feel sort of a, like just that much kind of pressure, like a boom, boom, sorry, am I in the way? So just kind of gently like that. If I feel a pulse that's that strong, I have a very serious issue in the foot. So if I have a horse that's having a laminitic episode, which just means inflammation of the lamina, which is just inside the hoof wall here, is a soft tissue. If they have an inflammation of the lamina, if they have an abscess, um, especially if they have a subsolar abscess, which means it's gonna come out of the coronet band, you will be able to clearly feel the pulse on the digital artery here. So if I can feel a pulse and I can actually count it and get beats per minute, then I have a pain issue in that hoof, right? And I can check both fronts. I may have a very strong pulse on one front I may have a weak pulse. Uh, I may have a very strong pulse on both. When we feel it kind of like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I know you got to get in the camera. <laughs> then that's a sign of severe inflammation inside the foot. If it's both front feet, that's a strong indicator that the horse is having uh, inflammation or a laminitic episode in both front feet. If it's a, if the horse is sort of favoring and resting one foot, then I might have an abscess in the foot where I can, like, let's say I have a strong or what they call a bounding pulse. <laughs> I know. If I have a bounding pulse on this, um, on this foot or the back of the fetlock here, and I can't feel the pulse on this one, then I have an issue just with this foot or vice versa, right? So a bounding pulse is one that you can easily feel and it's pretty rapid. Because if there's inflammation in the hoof, it's just like our fingernail. So this is basically the fingernail and this is a finger knuckle, right? This is a finger bone and what we call the knee is actually the wrist. So it's just like if we bang our fingernail, there's no place for that blood to go. There's no place for swelling to go. So we feel the pressure on our fingernail and it's pretty painful if you've ever lost a fingernail because you banged it pretty hard. It's a lot of pressure internally because the nail bed is sort of holding it in there. Pretty painful. So if you can feel the digital pulse then you have an abscess, you might have laminitis, you've got a serious lameness issue, and if it's a very clear bounding pulse, it would require an emergency call to the vet. If it's a strong pulse on one foot, 
You can get laminitis on just one foot, but typically it's both. So that might indicate that you have an abscess on that foot. Either way, you've got a serious pain issue. The, the cl more clearly you can feel that digital pulse, the more pain the horse has in that foot. And in a normal day, it should be hard to find, hard to feel, but it sort of lives just on the inside and the outside towards the back half of the fetlock, or you can feel it kind of down the back of the pastern if you want to go a little bit lower. I know, you're being so good, getting impatient, and that's the digital pulse.